the oneness, the oneness, the one person that you are. That oh my God! I mean, if I look at this, I, I get still goosebumps. Right? I say, I'm talking to Sonia. She is one of eight billion people, and I am I I'm so honored to meet that one of one of eight billion people. Hey everyone, welcome to Holiness Connection. Today I have with me Michael McGrooch. Welcome, Michael. Welcome, happy, welcome me. <laughs> I'm happy to be with you. I'm happy and, to be with you. Yeah. We had a so, good talk last time. It was amazing. So let's. Yeah. Let's so do I was it. just going to mention that, that we met uh, in an interview around the topic of neuro neurodiversity. So we'll see how that play potentially weaves in today. But. Um, a particular, um, I don't know what to call it exactly, concept, wording, what we, you know, one thing that we talked about in that interview is, you know, what kind of inspired doing this interview with you. And so that's what I was wanted to start with, which is this, I, tell me if I'm saying it right, one of oneness. Is that one of yeah. one? One of oneness is not my concept or anything. It's just I'm focusing on it because I see uh, when we look, I see the problem of system of systemic and human centric so system relevant so i'm a doctor i'm in the you know hospital with this i'm a ceo i'm thinking that's this system relevant so how i'm gonna the human doing right mm -hmm. and then the human being is uh, human centric and i saw the uh, that we look always at the Human, uh, the system relevant person. Uh, what are you? I'm a doctor. So when uh, we do, I'm uh, working with a university right now to exchange uh, communications. And what we actually think, okay, uh, Sonia, how, how, who are you? I'm an expert in this and that. Or you say, I just got divorced and do this and that. Or you say, I am uh, just gotten over cancer and I'm enjoying, you know, thing. Or I just got cancer. It's either a disease or a system relevant thing. It's never, I'm just me. I'm Michael. And, and when I have talked, people say, oh, you're, you are this and you wrote six books and all this stuff. I said, yeah, who cares? I'm not writing six books right now, you know? Uh, yeah. And I've worked with all these people. Who cares? I'm Michael and I'm right now here dancing with you and enjoying the dance. And opening my perspective, and you are opening your perspective. I'm not telling you the three things to do, or, or or step one and two and three. No, I'm just saying, and that's why I see human centricity. Everybody's one of one, and there's so much power in. When we look at humanity, that everybody's one of one, and being in this in this uh, 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 you know in this moment, and dance with each other is is is, and we are part of nature. Mm -hmm. we, we can't segregate from nature and say, okay, it's more important that I'm a CEO of a company than I'm a, hum a one of one human. I mean, it's like we're selling ourselves out. Say, if you say, I'm a woman, okay, I'm a man, so what? It doesn't make us anything. It, it's totally non sequitur. It's zero. I'm a mm -hmm. doctor, a billion doctors. My strength is being in one on one, but, you know, we say, I'm just got cancer. There's a million people have cancer. It's it's not happy, not good. Yeah. And so what? Yeah, you're going through that. It's like, yeah. oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I think what you're talking about isn't so much about like not embracing identity as much no, as like no. not being boxed in though, right? And not having yeah. dualisms and all of those pieces of things in there. Like like it still can be that there's these expressions of one's identity, right? But it's yeah. it's the way that we systematize it and the way that we have it, you know, maybe divide us up and as well. I think yeah, is that right am there. I correct there that that's kind of what you're always, saying too? Always always yeah. always divides us. If you say, hey, you're like every woman. Women would just want money, and I'm like every guy. All guys are pigs. Mm -hmm. What What does that do? What? Get, tell me the function of that. The mm -hmm. function of saying, you know, this is a man. A man usually are this, 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 and women are this, 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 this. And the race is this, 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 this. 
what is the advantage of that? What what is the function? See, systemic system relevant always looks at the form. A doctor doesn't matter if you're a good doctor, bad doctor, horrible person, but you're a doctor. So you are already better than a beggar, right? I mean, even though a beggar can have ten times more impact positive than you, because if you see a beggar on Fifth Avenue, everybody is reminded they can tomorrow be that. Mm-hmm. While a doctor can just rely on his doctor and and on his title and just you know do the easy way, just get through and hurt a lot of people because he doesn't look at people as one of one, but a generalization. Oh, she has cancer, so a generalization. Oh, she has he had breast cancer. Oh. That's generalization. It's, everything is generalized. But every human is the superpower is that they are one of one. Yes. Yes. Oh, there's so many. Okay. There's so many ways I want to go here. I have to, okay. Because <laughs> um, I want to talk Please, about the presence aspect. I want to talk about that word one a little more again. Yeah. I'm saying them out loud so I don't forget. And then what was the other piece? Oh, and I felt like, um, let me start with this. So I think, you know, so what would you t- say to someone, this may be bringing in the neurodiversity a bit, we'll see, um, who, because I think people often say, well, it is how our brains work though, you know, because our brains want to have schema and put things in categories. You know, what would you say to someone who, um, what would you say to someone who who's talking about that? And I'm wondering, you know, again, this could be the neurodiversity coming in a bit here because, um, in your you know, case, it's very you know, simple. It, it some yeah. upbringing, you know, this this is this is another thing which system relevant doesn't say. System relevant is binary, right and wrong. Mm-hmm. But what if, and this is what I'm doing, experiencing right now with my friend Mark, uh, we. Um, we look at things and we have talks where it's about it's about in the context of one of one, right? Mm-hmm. And so when four people say, we say, okay, what, Sonia, what do you believe about e- equality? What do you believe? For? And so four people say about equality. And when you look at it at one of one, all of a sudden, everybody is right. Yeah. It's different. And the perspective that we dance with, Mm -hmm. is opening up and say, wow, it's not, okay, no, Sonia, you were right and I'm wrong. Or, or I was right and you were wrong. Or mine was better than yours. It's, it's now, it's like, wow, it all feels in. And in that dance, oh, you know, in this, you know, and we, we're playing it right now. Yeah. You you ask me the right question. I open my perspective. You open your perspective because you wouldn't have asked me that question if you would have just said, I've, 10 questions written down and I'm going to just go by that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's very much why I enjoy doing these interviews so much. You know, I have my own, you know, spiritual awakening and my own sort of way I've experienced things. But when I dance with others in this way, it's so rich and just like still building it and still (laughs) evolving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even if we both are spiritual and let's say, I'm not spiritual, like, you know, we are spiritual beings. We can't do anything, but, but I'm not following any spirituality because that's systemic. That's a generalization either. Because when you look at, if you are Buddh- Buddhist and I'm a Buddhist or I'm a Christian, whatever, even if we are the same Buddhist, everybody looks at Buddhism different. Mm-hmm. Everybody looks at Christianity. So we pretend you and I believe in Jesus Christ, right? We pretend that, but my belief is completely different than yours. Yeah, that is really true. I think people maybe don't realize that there's so much of that within, you know, individualization, the one of one within. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. And if we use systems to help us, because we created systems to help us, right? So when you were in whatever, in pagan age or whatever, you had a child, we create the woman that was real or the man that was really the best for children. And say, hey, can we put the children to you so we can go outside the the tribe and pick berries and go and see a friend and talk? And that was their first kindergarten, right? I mean, this is how I uh, think it wasn't like, oh, you uh, cost a lot of money. No, and there was a guy that took care of all the horses. We don't have to take care of everybody has to take off their horses or their animals. So this is what what systems were created for to help us, but because we haven't. We, have, we, we, we and the generalization that was a good generalization, you know, but the generalization in define in definition of what a woman 
Yeah. And two people have experienced this problem with women or this problem with men. And all of a sudden it's generalized. All men are like that. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly counterproductive to our human potential. Mm -hmm. We have such a, when, when you dance, when you experience it, you ask me here because I'm preaching, I'm, I'm living what I preach. It's mm -hmm. like, because it's so exciting. I don't even want to go back to anything that I did. It took me 52 years to hit the wall, you know, even though I was system relevant, but it didn't do anything. I'm happy today when I wake up and say, oh, my God, I'm meeting Sonia and it's going to be a dance. And, oh, it's going to enlighten me because I don't even know what I'm talking about to you first. It just. That's, yeah, that's really interesting. So did you actually have. Um, it sounds like you had a, t a time when you felt more like in the system or, you know, that, yeah, that yeah. was. No, because you were and now not. Yes. Yeah. You're, this is especially for us neurodiverse. We, we, when we hit the wall, hit the wall, the wall, we try to be a part of the tribe. Because also in our DNA is when you go, that's why a system is also a thing. It's the protection. It's not only to help you do your drawers, it, it's, it, it's helping you to protect you. That's why we have cities and, and defense and all that stuff. It helps you to, to be safe. So when I have a crisis or I'm bitten by a wolf, you're right? Mm -hmm. And then I go to the tribe and the tribe helps me. And there's a medicine man and that, uh, you know, a, a doctor that, that heals that, you know? Yeah. Uh, and not just saying, oh, I need to make money. I'm going to give him a pill and then I'm charging him for the pill forever. And, mm -hmm. you know, or I cut off his arm or whatever. It's just, it's, just, you know, it, it's different. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a dancing with each other. So do you think that, um, because you mentioned hitting the wall. And I know a lot of people do have a crisis that sort of, I'm going to call it wakes them up. People can call it whatever they want. For me, yeah. it's like waking up, yeah. um, you know, kind of waking up to being present and, and to, mm -hmm. you know, realizing this way of being. Um, do you, What do you think about that? Do you think that that's the kind of the way that that plays out for humans, for people, that they have a crisis and that potentially wakes them up or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, ultimately, it does. Ultimately, it does. Uh, but, 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 can you believe that we have four wars right now, or more, and we're not even knowing it? Uh, yes, we we wake it up um, ultimately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when I look at just the, the, the two wars, there's six hundred fifty thousand people died. Yeah. And the problem is, we are when we are already overwhelmed, right? The more people we kill unnaturally, mm -hmm. the more we have to pick up the slack because you know we all interconnected. Yeah. Before the internet, they they discovered a, a medicine or an invention on one part of the world and done on the other. So we are all connected. And there was no way they could have these people could have met. So yeah. when the universe wants something to come in, it will come yeah. in. But if it comes in in three or different with three or four people or ten people or a hundred people, depends on how much it is important that that energy comes in. But when we kill people, we have to take the slack. Mm -hmm. We have to be forced to take the slack, you know, and, and, and that's, that's, that's why we need to, to be together. We don't have to hug each other. We don't have to kiss each other. We don't have to say, I love you, you know, all that mm -hmm. systemic crap, but, but just dance yeah. with each other and, and say, oh, I don't like uh, uh, Sonia. I don't like her, but uh, she's a part of me. So it doesn't yeah. matter. Who cares, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's that's really what I try to get at with the oneness practices is that, you know, content can come into it sometimes. It's yeah. not that it never comes into it, yeah. but there's still this underlying connection mm -hmm. that's foundational, I guess I would yeah. call it, that mm -hmm. can be accessed, you know, at any time, whether there's content involved or not. You know, yeah. sometimes it's easier to access that when the content's not, you know, driving it to start with. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, I'm curious to hear more about that. Like, so, interconnection and how we dance with each other and, and how we concert. connect deeply. Let's just talk about it more. Taylor Swift concert. What was There's, that? Say one yeah, more time. Taylor, Taylor Swift concert. Oh, Taylor right? Swift concert. It, right? It's like, if they could, I mean, she probably could put a billion people in, into a, a concert. Obviously, not. that's why she has to travel. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, when there is, and I don't even think it has anything to do with Taylor. Taylor is just the, the conduit. I think mm -hmm. I think the people want to be together after 
you know, yeah. COVID and stuff, they want to be just together. Mm-hmm. And that experience. But when, when you see, and you, you have, have experience, we all have experienced it. In, yeah. a, in a thing, everybody sings the same song. Everybody, uh, 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 you know, uh, is together. And the mm-hmm. Republicans and Democrats and the woman and the man and the gays and all this segregation, generalization, stereotypes, all singing the same song. Yeah. Now you tell me if we weren't connected and we were really segregated in man, woman, race, gender, whatever. Yeah. That would be that would not be possible. Prove that to me. That is why is it when we enjoy things, it overrules, and when we dance with each other and sing with each other, it all goes away. Yeah. All the system relevance is so powerless. That's why. When you have a war with somebody, what are they? What are they doing? The first thing, anybody that is, what did they do in Ukraine? Get the get the churches, get the cultural thing wherever people congregate. Mm-hmm. And I'm not a holy Jewish or religious. I'm just saying, but churches where people first of all, these are beautiful systems, right? Mm-hmm. You go there, you congregate. And it's not the thing to say everybody needs to be now a Buddhist, a, a, a Christian or whatever. It's just you have a place mm-hmm. that is embraceable. I mean, look at the, the, the Moscow Metro, you know. Mm-hmm. It's, it's you go down there and it's like, wow. And we create, it's our collaborative creation. Yeah. And, and how beautiful that is, you know. And, 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 and this, is, this, is, this is exactly... You know, I try to prove what, i just give you an example of, if we were really segregated and we were so in a crisis, then a Taylor Swift concert wouldn't be possible. It wouldn't be possible. She would mm-hmm. be a poor, she would be an artist or a perhaps okay artist, but she would be somewhere, you know? Yeah, yes. And I, I love that you bring in examples, you know, ranging from, you know, churches, which we think of that more, you know, yeah. that kind of thing, more as spiritual or as our connection. But all these other cases, whether it's a concert, whether it's in the metro, yeah. like I remember last summer just being at kind of a street fair and with so many people and just like the energy of it. I was just like riding the energy. It's like it yeah. was just felt so good. And because it was that group, you know, energy or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, so I think it's yeah, I think that people maybe don't sometimes recognize that, though, mm-hmm. as. And I think to me personally, I mean, you can just experience it, of course, but I think sort of having a recognition of it. I don't know what what it does exactly. I don't. What's your what do you think about that? Like it's it's, it's something about that feels like to me it takes intentionality into it or it takes something. There's something there. But what is this is experiencing uh, our one of one experiencing the whole that we are collective creator species of nature. Mm-hmm. You know, we created that beautiful church. We created that beautiful concert, and whatever we that experience, and and that's and we have such a lack because with the cell phone we're not meeting each other anymore. You know, I mean, this is mm-hmm. the best thing you can get. You and I are doing right now technology, mm-hmm. technology, but also opens us up because it it, it, it allows us to do more. Uh, but. But that's 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 just how the how the how the thing is. It's we are segregated, not only also by technology. We you know, and we are forced to use non-intuitive technology and adapt to technology, which even makes us more spending more time. Which that's very mm-hmm. that's the, that's more than money. Time is the, the the highest form that we have. Not dancing with each other, but figuring out how to how to use technology to dance with each other. You know. Right. Well, there's that interesting piece, too, about how there is a difference when people are together in person. However, yeah. there's also, I think, truth to kind of like you mentioned with the people not together and then the things yeah. coming through the universe and how maybe yeah. Jung would call it the collective unconscious, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, there's sort of like ability for it to be sort of a cross distance, too. Mm-hmm. But yet there is this unique experience of being closer. And, yeah, and being and dancing with each other it doesn't matter what because we have six senses and you and I are able to align and dance with each other over mm-hmm. uh, distances and through technology, even though it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect in language linear. 
because you and I can still dance. So it's actually, I think that's the human growth that we actually can adapt to technology and then, you know, we, we, yes. we evolve system relevant. We evolve, you know, we have jobs. We are in our habitat of cities, you know, and we can still dance with each other, you know. But if we segregate that dancing and say, no, that's not important. To be in the system is more important than right. this. Because guess who built the system? Every system is built by humans. Every man-made system. City, Apple, Google, Nike, uh, you know, uh, Singapore, yeah. New York, everything is created by humans because we are collective creator animal. And it, I always say that, don't think Steve Jobs did Apple. If Steve Jobs didn't have the other humans to dance with, yeah, he would still sit in his garage soldering some some <laughs> computer together, you know. And the same with, yeah. with, with the, the same is with uh, uh, with the other one, Bill Gates. It would. It's yeah. not Bill Gates, you know. It's not mm -hmm. Steve Jobs. It's not that person. It's not even the, the president of anything. It's yeah. America. It's the world. You know, we had. Hiroshima, Nagasaki. We had we had all these wars. Right now, it's so far that the people didn't even move out of Ukraine. They just lived their life and adapted it. But only is it is that not necessary? No, it's not necessary. Why do we have the the, the destruction? Uh, yeah. And it's not necessary. Well, and it's interesting because I think when you mentioned about you when you were talking about the system relevant and being within the system and and. Yeah not you know not i mean we still are to some extent but not yeah. sort of our consciousness not being yeah. in it that way um it's it strikes me that that is that intentionality again so there is this piece that's sort of like like being aware of it which i guess is partly because the presence aspect is so important and you know also when you were talking about us dancing that was i was feeling like what i'm sort of doing you know what it feels like what i'm doing the piece I'm doing is sort of almost feels like a heart opening or it's like a, mm. like it's being present. It's heart opening. There's like these mm. aspects to it that I think, you know, we can practice and that sometimes mm. people, of course, they're still connected. And of course, it's really, never be it's really just right there. Right. I mean, it's just right there, but, but there's, yeah. there is something about actually opening to it. Mm -hmm. But I think that's uh, through, you know, because system relevant is knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, human centricity is awareness and wisdom because it's not focused on a generalization. Right. See, the wisdom right. and awareness and wisdom is not a generalization. It's an all women are this, all men are that, you know, what mm -hmm. these transsexuals are that, you know, it's not about mm -hmm. that. It's everybody's a one of one human. And, uh, I think, I think what you can do is you take knowledge because that's why knowledge is even valuable in systems. Because people read a lot of books to become aware, more aware. But it is very, because it's system relevant and it's reversed engineered. Like, for example, we are the world, right, mm -hmm. uh, is not what we are. It, it's a system reversed engineer metaphor of mm -hmm. who, who we are. You know, we all one of what we all together, you know. But it yeah. is really so limited that, you know, I can't even compare it. I find that never, and this is actually because I cannot resonate with we are the world. You know, I cannot mm -hmm. because it's it's like one gay, one white person, one black person, one Chinese person, one this person, one that. Ah, oh, what the hell is this? You know, it's mm -hmm. it's humans. It could be all white person or all black person or or anything, and it still represents the world because it's about the humanity and not what the definition of humanity is. Yeah. So it's, again, what we're talking about sort of at the beginning there about it, it being about, again, it's not like about expressions of different, you know, qualities yeah. and identities, but is that, I mean, correct me if that's not what you're saying, but I'm yeah. taking it as yeah. it's about full, fuller expression, yeah. um, not being boxed in. Yeah. It's the function of humanity, not the function of, of definition what humanity is. It is female, male, uh, race, you know, and it's not that. It, that's why I'm saying the function. I always fo fo follow the function first and then form follows function, not making the, 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 the form more important. You know, so if you today you're dressed up, that means something. If you're not mm -hmm. dressed up, that doesn't mean something else. 
-hmm. everything and because we are so overwhelmed because system is very complicated because mm -hmm. we created it it wasn't created by nature so we created this was very complicated yeah so laws become more laws more uh, think more yeah we need to know more so you not nobody can even deal with laws anymore you need to have specialists and in the law community you have to have specialists of, of every kind of law so it's it's we get lost because yeah. our intent is to resolve conflict right of law in law is the intent of but we can't do it because there's absolute and they are wrong that even yeah. there is there is some laws that are wrong and outdated and we know now that they are outdated and hopefully we take care of that and take them away but you know i always say that too we were smoking in hospitals the hysterical woman that i have the maternity ward they need to get we give them a, 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 a <laughs> we give them a box of, of cigarettes once a week so they keep smoking and all that and calm down and there's no no yelling or whatever you know and this and the, the doctors were smoking now imagine you would say hey let's smoke in the in the hospitals again it's not because the awareness is too big. That's why I think war is, is outdated totally. We I think in two years we can stop wars and never have them again because it's like do you think in, in two years or five years they're gonna start smoking in, in hospitals again? No, it's it's we grow we are growing even if we are totally system relevant. Yeah. Humanity is growing and humanity is acting human centrically. The boss yeah. of a company falls in love with the secretary, and you should never do that according to systems, right? Uh, uh, workers fall in love with each other. So you, we act, we, we like some people better, and we hate other people in the, in the company, right? So we, we act, we totally are, are run by human centricity of one-on-one, -on -one, but, but acting like we are system relevant, like a machine. And that's why I say, when AI comes, the more you are system relevant, the easier it is for AI to take you over. The more you're human centric, the less it is taken over because you, you always stay working with your six senses and stuff. Yeah. Well, and all the, it's interesting because in my last interview with Onika Mays, this system, uh, the system thing came up briefly as well, you know, where she yeah, was it saying, comes up everywhere. It's not yeah, where she was just yeah. saying, we forget yeah. that humans make us, you know, yeah, but we humans make the system. system, so we can yeah. be changing the systems. Like we exactly. really can't. People get so blind to that, like, and somehow yeah. thinking that the system's running them. Mm -hmm. We can't change us, a one-on-one. -on -one. So, for example, the fact that I'm five nine, I cannot say, oh, "I wish I was six five. I wish I would have blonde hair. I wish, you know, like I would have a smaller nose. I would have bigger ears, or whatever I want." So everybody, nobody, because we generalize. Nobody's happy what he has. Without your body, your body, you you treat your body worse than your animal. And you love your animals, right? You need to love your body like your first number one animal. Because your body allows you to experience being human. And it doesn't matter even if you if a, if an animal has three legs. You need to still, because that made you physical. In that body, your spirit could be physical. Yeah. And that is so mind-blowing. You know, you can never get bored when you look at that like that. You can never, you know, oh, yeah. it's so, you know, and you think, well, you know, all the movies are the like, yeah, because everybody likes to do the same thing. Everybody yeah. say, oh, this was, this was Titanic was the best thing. Now we try to copy Titanic and nobody could copy it anyway. You know, it's, I'm just yeah. saying this in, 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 in the art is the same. It's the art creation that is the magic. It's not the product. And yeah. I keep, yeah, and I, the process. You know, yeah. 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 Process over product. That's yeah. interesting. Process too. The dancing, yeah. the dancing with the product. Dancing sense, with that is the dance. That's the pres where the presence is. Yeah. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. dancing because we're not like serious is system relevant. System mm -hmm. relevant is seriousness. You've got to be serious. That's why I always say monkey. The monkey are very close to you know to to who we are. Mm -hmm. And I think that but there's always play in it. And I also know from creativity that the funnier you are, you know, naturally, not to mm -hmm. you know learn jokes by heart and dump the jokes. Yeah. But but really funny. Uh, the, the the more creative you know, the result of your dance with whatever you your two people do you know do uh, tend to a garden 
do something, you know, create something, build a computer. If it's serious yeah. and system relevance forces you to do time, you know, time, time is money, time is money, harder, faster, best, better. You, you suck the life choose. Do you suck yeah. the soul? You suck everything out of the individual and you basically, uh, you know, uh, spade and neuter us. Really, you, you spend every, the oneness, the oneness, the one person that you are that, oh my God. I mean, if I look at this, I, I get still goosebumps, right? I say, I'm talking to Sonia. She is one of 8 billion people. And I, am I, I'm so honored to meet that one of one of 8 billion people. Yeah, it, I saw. It's just breathless. Yeah. Press yeah, it, I get it all press press. Too. She's not a woman like everyone, dude, but you see now the system relevance, you're a woman like all the women are, right? The men are pigs, right? This is the, this is. Yeah, and it's beautiful because that's how the story, you know, sort of, and contents can sort of weave in because I, that happens to me all the time too, or, you know, every time I'm driving by an apartment building, I just start to think, uh, you, you know, each person in there, and there's so many just in that apartment building and each one's having their lives and their experiences. Yeah. I, I have that frequently too that just awe of the whole thing um and and but it feels connective i mean it's an awe that's yeah. connective not like we're all individual atoms separate yeah. from each other yeah. but that there's these be beautiful expressions them. that there are these yeah. beautiful expressions of humanity yeah yeah mm -hmm. you don't have to go and knock on the door and say yeah i just thought about this and i love you and blah 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 no that's system relevant again you know it's just just the awareness that we are all one of one, and every moment is precious. And you know from podcasting, if we if this wouldn't work technically, there's we can repeat that talk. It's yeah. so precious. You know, if if something, you know, somebody there's a somebody raises this this thing, you cannot copy it. Every mm -hmm. moment is so precious, and every yeah. human is so precious. Yes. No matter if you think about their system relevance. So what he is a de Democrat or a Republican, who cares? That's his, whatever he is, I, you don't even need to go into it. Who cares? Yeah. And I mean, the, both gratitude and joy in what you were saying just now and what yeah. you were saying just a little bit ago come into this, you know, and I think it's, it's why, you know, joy is, it seems like a paradox with your mind, but it isn't really that the joy, you know, isn't about the circumstances we're going through, that you can have joy when you're doing the dance and in the present moment, even in grief, even in yeah. difficult circumstances, yeah. which is also, you know, just it's it's the awe, too. It's the awe. It's the joy. It's the gratitude. It's all kind of different Everything. flavors, I think, of the same thing when, when, when we're dancing and experiencing. There's, there's no there's no failure in nature. There's yeah. no mistake, failure in nature. You fall down, you stand up. So what? Nobody yeah. cares if, if hey, this elephant fell down. You know, who cares? The elephant doesn't yeah. care. And then there's, you know, an experience, too, of some a flavor that I would call abundance within the moment. And, yeah. and sort of that allowing things to unfold and trusting, the trusting. Mm -hmm. And that reminds me of... You know, from the other interview, you definitely had experiences of things sort of coming, a lot of what comes into your life and unfolds, even just in terms of vocation and career and things like yeah. that. I wonder if you could speak to any of that and like what your experience is yeah. of how things unfold. So I told you at like 52 or so, I was hitting the wall, trying to be successful and try to be, even though I was, you know, I was, I was certain successful. I was voted by six of seven council members to be arts commissioner. I Robert Evans, who did The Godfather, whatever, tapped me on the, you know, his his uh, producer tapped me on the shoulder, said, "Who are you? We want to hire you. You know, come meet them." So every and and I want I invite your listeners to really think your success if you planned it. There's no way. There's nobody because if there was a formula of success, don't you think we all use it? Mm -hmm. Don't you think it would be that? 97% uh, of businesses after the third years fail. You think success, if there was a formula, we would, and why don't we use AI? If there was a formula, let's see, let's ask AI what to do, you know? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have it because otherwise, you know, we, it, it, we have it. Like the, the cell phone is a human centric invention, a technology that is connected with everybody uses a cell phone all over the world. If you, if you, you, 
it's not you don't have to think about it it just you know everybody uses that yeah. so i i was always because i had no education and i was so uh basically a failure right uh, which neurodiverse people know very well you know they either become super system relevant you know but they have no no sense of self anymore or they they be just losers losers space thing artists most artists most people in prison are, are, are neurodiverse. It's just people that are not neurotypical, that cannot uh, adapt to the norm generalizations. That's why I think the generalizations are so dangerous because it segregates us. Mm-hmm. And then I started uh, systems and I, I talked to all these people and they said, no, you got one person, they went, you got to write down everything. The other one says, I'm totally, my time is totally organized. The other says, I try to have as many titles that I have. So I, I'm invited to speak and then I meet the people. And when I meet the people, I get successful. Oh, my God. I've heard so many. I've read books about this. Not, I, I can't read. So I, I just let it re, you know, read to me. So and I could say, what? The, there is no common denominator on success. There is not. Yeah. And everybody that says is a liar. It's not, it's not, because if it was, why are we not all successful? Mm-hmm. And, and I think things happen when you are in a moment. Yeah. Things is happen when you honor the one of oneness of you and everybody else. Yeah. And you say in the human centricity, uh, you know, in our talk, when we talk about humans uh, and, and how to get, you are not right and I'm not right. We all both right. And, and open the, 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 the thing when you see there is no binary in humans. There can't be a binary in humans. Yeah. Uh, you, and you understand, and, and, and that is a total blessing. Success or fame or whatever is a total blessing, but it's also a curse. If you think that Taylor Swift is, is free, think about it again. Do you think that Trump or Biden is free? Do you think that all these superstars, Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos are free? Are probably the most confined humans ever. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Because, because they which... have to do to be whatever they are famous for, so they can't even grow. They can't even grow. Yeah. They can't even say, I, "Sorry, I was wrong with this," and you know, they, they, nobody. They can't even admit that. You know. Yeah, I, a lot of the people I hear talk, especially sort of in different spiritual communities, or you know, who are, you know, let's say they they don't necessarily want success in that particular way but i find a lot of people still talk about huge struggle even when they're talking about it like as purpose right like finding their purpose or that kind of thing so i'm just curious what words would you have for someone who's you know maybe they don't want success and they feel like they even want to be outside the system but they're having this struggle around like finding their purpose and wanting to you know to give that to the world or whatever however they would put the words around it why do they want to give it? I always say, why do you want to give it to the world? Why do you want to save somebody else? Which is, by the way, a natural form. When when you are balanced and uh, you are unbalanced, I will automatically try to help you. You know, that is a human-centric thing. The same is equality. We cannot make woman equal system relevant because you uh, women are by nature equal. There's no... Tell me where... Prove to me that women are not equal because you can't. And if you do, we actually see that women are better uh, to, to live uh, life because they are mothers. They can raise children. They can, they can multitask better than guys. So prove it to me. Why? Why? Why, why should you do this? Why should you suffer? Why do you want to uh, save the world when you being you has the most impact? And, yeah, yeah. You know, me trying somebody else, you know, if I say, oh, you know, I'm neurodiverse. It's all about neurodiversity. No, neurodiversity is normal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's interesting because I think, yeah, it, it's why that has to come. The dance is what it is. And sort of coming into yeah. that is and allowing one's own expression is then the, the things unfold. And, you know, um, and they will fall automatically. There's nothing, mm-hmm. you know, if you're supposed and if you're not what is is so if you i mean i I can now cry and say 52 years suffering sacrificing i can cry about this but 
neither sacrifice nor, nor suffering as suffering is only a thing that you go another way. You know, it's just uh, the emotional feedback. But all I did was nothing. I wasn't aware. And when you're not aware, you can't blame somebody because, oh, he started a war. No, he wasn't. He's not aware about his position. He's just feeling very, you know, one leader and the other leader, they feel very locked into their leadership position. They don't even, and they have fight flight. They don't even think about one. When you have fight flight, your DNA takes over and you make unrational things, non-rational yeah. things. You, you kill people. I mean, if they, if they put us in a cage, it doesn't matter how smart you and I are. If our DNA takes over after a certain time, we're going to fight each other. Yeah. And you've got to understand that. It's not a bad thing. You know, it's not being, being, being bad. It's, you cannot put ourselves collectively into a fight flight because mm -hmm. when we do that, then we, and, and in addition, generalize us. Yeah. And that puts us more into fight flight. And then we are just driven by our DNA, which has nothing to do with our knowledge, awareness. Oh, he's a stupid idiot. He needs to be incarcerated or whatever. No, that's what the result is. Right, so, right, yeah. Which is why this other, this other way of being, you know, or which is the natural way of being. The natural way, of being, that, yeah. you know, you're not in fight flight. That's why it feels abundant, and you don't feel scarcity and all that when you're in yeah. it. Um, I was going to say also <laughs> that to to touch on something you said about not saving the world, um, you know, my experience has been, and I think you know, I'm not alone in this. That when one is in an experience where you know the system would say you're the one helping or whatever that's absolutely not how the dance unfolds the dance yeah. is absolutely still you're getting as much from the other person exactly. in the dance yeah. so so it's just not how it like unfolds but that doesn't mean sometimes those kinds of what looks like that configuration don't happen and unfold they do yeah. but if you're really in the moment with the person and dancing with them it's to it's totally inter yeah. Interwoven. Did you know what we're talking that that this is gonna end up like this? Did you know? I had no, I have zero idea. It was not planned. This was not or orchestrated or whatever. And I no. think I can compare this talk to a lot of very system relevant people. You know, mm -hmm. what we created right now here is yeah. we proved what we say. Yeah. See, and, and when everybody is one of one and they can literally in every action of life proving what they, what they stand for as their oneness, oh, my God, what a world would that would be. Yeah. What a world. Yeah. And there's well, nothing yeah, to learn. There's nothing yeah. to study, yes. not to read 20,000 books. Just listen to this episode a couple of times and you have it. Yeah, yeah. And and we're coming to the end of the time for today. You know, yeah. hopefully we'll have a conversation yeah. in the future again. But um but I it'd be interesting. Any final thoughts that you have, but I I'm curious about you know, because you we were talking about how the there's people who are very overwhelmed. The system is very complicated yeah. right now. So if someone's listening to this and they are in that overwhelm, but you know, they're listening and you know they they want to dance, but they just feel so overwhelmed. I was wondering, yeah, what are some thoughts, what words could you, of wisdom could you give to that person? Who's the best in I did, and we can add that to your, the one, the human centricity and uh, system relevance. We can add that to this ep episode. I made, a, I, my, when I was 52, this is what happened to me. Doesn't mean to me, but I'm, everybody that has done it feels so much, but once you're, getting some understanding about system relevance and human centricity. And when you prioritize your human centricity, what you are by nature, because we created systems, how can we submit to systems that we created? We can change them and update them. And when, you, when you're just aware, it takes 50% of your, uh, uh, so for me, took 50, more than 50% of anxiety away. Yeah. Because I all of a sudden think about, let's say I have an issue. Now I'm looking at the end and I'm really upset, I get anxiety and get everything. If I start thinking, not first of all, not flipping out in the issue and getting a panic, but actually saying, what is that about? And start to think, is this about a human centric issue? Like I need to take care of my baby? Or is it about I need to go to work? And I always say this example because so in a human centric system 
the team would say, you call the team and the team would say, Sonia, don't worry. Yeah. We can take care, you take care of your kid because everybody knows human are number one. In the other sense, okay, we do, there's no different answer, but they say, okay, we do it. We, we just get back as soon as possible. So what does that help to tend to the kid when the mother feels guilty? And when you can segregate, it says, say, no, no, human centric, I have to take care of my child. That is the most important. And not because you want, not want to go to work. No, you, the child is sick. You want to take care of the child first. And the system says that, but it says, doesn't say, oh, it has no priority. You know, no, you take care of the child, the human centric issue. And then you, 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 you go to work. You know, it just, when you segregate those, you yeah. can, segregate from the system relevance and do what's yeah. right for the human because it's forbidden to steal an apple right but if you steal an apple for your kid i'm not i'm not asking you to, to do that but i'm saying you know if if your kid is dying and you steal something because you have no because system relevance is all survival is money and you give the kid something to eat not to get jewelry and steal that no no you just give that kid something to eat that is the most important, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that awareness is really... Awareness. You know, it's awareness. Because you're never getting that thing that you need to steal. You never get into the, the... Because you are aware and you take care before about the kid and not just, you know, or do whatever you can do for the kid first and not wait yeah. till it's, it's, it's dying and then, then you steal something. That, so that's, yeah. that would be system relevant. See, the system yeah. says, ah, uh, and then, oh, so... So there is so much wisdom in that, just segregating those two. Yeah. And it I think it applies easier. to, yeah, one way that I know it applies for me is, you know, in interacting with other people is, is that kind of what's sort of the most important thing I would say, but it's yeah. the human centricity you're talking about is that if I'm in the moment with the person, then that takes priority over whatever else is, you know, Everything going else, on. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and you're one of one. And that's always those two things, system relevance, human centricity, and you are yeah. one of one. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for this conversation and this Anytime. dance. Yeah. And we'll hopefully Beautiful do it again then. sometime soon. All right. I love when we, when we play it, when, when we actually prove what we're saying, not just saying, oh, you should do three steps, but actually prove it. Right, right. And it is, you know, partly experiential, but I think, I think yeah. everyone has had these experiences, whether I, they I know. You know, acknowledge them yeah. or not. So thank you again. Mm -hmm.